Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel at KLP Entertainment. Reporting live from our newsroom, I'm Addison Hayden with your news breaking. Tory Lanez won't face additional bribery charges in his felony assault trial involving Megan the Stallion, who he allegedly shot in the feet in July 2020. According to Rolling Stone, Los Angeles Deputy District Attorney Kathy Tarr motioned to tack two new witness tampering charges onto the rapper's existing charges during day six of the trial on Monday, December 19. Tarr cited allegations that Tory offered Megan and her former friend and assistant, Kelsey Harris, a $1 million bribe to keep quiet about the shooting. She also cited California Penal Code 136.1 which makes it a crime to attempt to dissuade a witness. It's based on testimony by both the victim and Ms. Kelsey Harris about statements the defendant made in the car, offering them a million dollars in hush money, Tar told the Los Angeles court. When quizzed by Judge David Hereford about why the state waited so long considering Megan made the allegation early in the case, Tar explained she wasn't sure how Harris was going to testify. But once she did appear to corroborate the claim on the witness stand, they decided to file. Lainez's defense lawyer, George Medesian, objected, arguing prosecutors had known what Harris's testimony likely would be since as early as September, when she vividly recalled witnessing Tory shoot Megan in an interview with prosecutors. Judge Hereford sided with the defense and rejected the additional charges, saying the late change would place Lainez's legal team in a difficult position in terms of putting together a proper response. I think it's unfair at this juncture, so I would deny that motion, the judge said. Tory Lainez, real name Days Ter Peterson, still faces three charges, felony assault with a semi-automatic firearm, possession of a concealed, unregistered firearm and discharging a firearm with gross negligence, all of which he has pleaded not guilty to. If convicted, he faces a maximum of 22 years and 8 months in prison, as well as subsequent deportation to his native Canada. Tory has yet to take the stand himself, but the explosive trial has seen testimony from a number of individuals related to the case, including Megan the Stallion. In an emotional court appearance last week, the Houston native recounted the events leading up to Lainez allegedly shooting her five times and telling her to dance, bitch. Meg admitted she and Tori had been involved in a non-exclusive sexual relationship prior to the incident, contradicting her previous denial about them being intimate, and explained she initially didn't report the rapper to police for fear that cops might shoot first and ask questions later. The 27-year-old also opened up about her struggle in the wake of the shooting, saying she has been turned into some kind of villain, particularly among the boys' club of the rap game. This has messed up my whole life, she told the jury. I wish he would have just shot and killed me, rather than, have to go through this torture. Prosecutors were hoping to strengthen their case by calling Megan's bodyguard, Justin Edison, to the witness stand last week. Edison was expected to testify that Tory apologized to him for shooting the savage rapper while at his rental house the day after the alleged incident. However, the bodyguard didn't show up to court and remains off the grid. According to TMZ, investigators paid a visit to an L.A. home on Monday in hopes of finding Edison, but were unable to locate him. He has yet to be officially considered a missing person, though. The trial is expected to last until at least the end of the week. Reporting live from our newsroom, I'm Arthur Brooks with your news breaking. A Florida man has been arrested after he threatened to kill 20 people in a Twitch chat. It's no secret that any online community can become toxic, with people saying unkind or unsavory things to each other. As an example, streamer XQC recently revealed that a Twitch viewer spent $850 in donations to send him hateful messages, in $5 increments. Last year, the situation became even more extreme when people began carrying out hate raids against Twitch streamers they didn't like, usually targeting minorities or members of the LGBTQ community. People participating in the raid would then spam the Twitch streamers chat with hateful messages. 
While many content creators were indifferent or angered after being on the receiving end of hate raids, others admitted to feeling hurt by the messages and even stopped streaming for a while. One Twitch viewer took toxic messaging to a whole new level, however, on December 9. LOL Thomas Schoonmaker, a 33-year-old Florida man, began posting threatening messages in a Twitch chat. After making vague statements like mass murder coming soon, the Boca Raton resident said, Today I'm going to kill 20 people. Have a nice day. Another Twitch user then tipped off the FBI about the threats. Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputies were able to track Schoonmaker down by tracing his IP address, and he was arrested on December 14. The probable cause affidavit mentions that the Twitch user also made comments about wanting to destroy the world, and it being time for me to ruin my world. As of December 17, Schoonmaker was still detained in Palm Beach County Jail, and he may be charged with making a written threat to commit a mass shooting or act of terrorism. To explain his actions, Schoonmaker said that he dealt with depression and was also drunk when he made the threats. He stated that he didn't mean what he said and didn't even own firearms. Obviously, it's never a good idea to make threatening statements like Schoonmaker did, whether joking or not, particularly given the current climate in the US. Behaving in such a manner on a platform largely associated with gaming will also just add to the ongoing perception that violent video games are to blame for mass shootings. It's unclear at this point whether Schoonmaker has also been banned from Twitch for his threatening comments, but hopefully the platform is actively seeking ways to immediately halt any similar actions by viewers. Recently, Twitch began testing an elevated chat feature, which lets users pay to highlight their message for 30 seconds to 2.5 minutes. Though the longer durations cost up to $100, that likely won't deter somebody who is intent on sharing their thoughts, be they positive or negative. That will do it for our news breaking for Tuesday December 20th. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel KLP Entertainment. Live from our newsroom, I'm Arthur Brooks. Thanks for watching. I hope you got a lot from it.